What's up guys, Joy626 back again. Today's topic, I wanted to talk about the World Cup 2014. And uh, to be honest, yeah, I've been watching all the games, mostly all the games, simply because my dad is super fanatic of soccer. My dad's been playing soccer since he was like 19 years old. So he's been watching all of the games at home. And... Uh, yeah, so I've been watching most of the games, and if I'm not watching the game, I'm at work, but I still get updated by Facebook statuses by some of my friends that love soccer as well. So thank you, friends. Uh, anyway, so what I wanted to, ta to talk about was its pros and cons of the stadium and how there's like so, so much controversy about building a new stadium, stadium at a place that already has a bunch of stadiums and that's something that I don't get they have so many stadiums why build another one um, I think it's just to bring some new hype to the World Cup and of course they want to bring more money everything's a business obviously but I think that's just part of the system where there are still poor people in Brazil there's poor people everywhere but they're just because it's the World Cup I think that yeah, they know there's poor people, but there's always going to be poor people everywhere you go. Like here in Miami, they're just always making new roads, new highways, new buildings. Do you think they care about the poor? Not as much. Yeah, they have funds and everything. The homeless do um, are, can get into a program where they can go out there and sell newspaper or whatever they need to sell to live a better life. But I mean, I think it's all... A system where you just people just don't care about um, the poor especially in Brazil uh, I've seen pictures of people just sleeping outside in a mattress well there's the game you know and I just think it's not fair of course and um, but like I said again I think that's part of the system you can't ever have too much or you can't have uh, zero in your life and um, I think that it's, it's, I mean, making a stadium, I mean, it's there already, you know, and they're, they also want to make another stadium here in Miami, Florida. David Beckham is most likely going to do that stadium here. And do I think it's a good idea? No, <laughs> obviously not, because it's going to be done in downtown, which is uh, next to the, the American Airline Arena where they have the, the, the basketball games and where it's next to Bayside and all these other buildings and it's just gonna be cramped. Downtown is gonna be super cramped because they also have um, Wynwood um, which is like the hippie town now and they're making more business there like more artsy, more bars, uh, uh, more arts, I was gonna say more artsy uh, galleries, artsy shows like poetry, slams, pro, uh, spots. Uh, they have um, food business and it's known as a hippie town um, because of all the art and all of this stuff. And they're gonna start making condos, building condos in downtown, which is cool shit. I'd love to live there because I'm very artsy and creative and be cool around. It'd be cool to meet like new people around there and even go to school. So I mean, it's going to be cramped if they're going to make another stadium in downtown Miami. Um, but at the same time, it's going to be good because it brings Miami more business and more money. And we need it because we need better schools. We need, I think, every state, every place we need to better everything. Um, so that's what I think. Um, World Cup is just... A distraction to the real world I mean look they're sending soldiers back to Iraq what happened you know about you know bringing back our soldiers it's bullshit I knew this was gonna happen it's all just lies and you know we, we're sending soldiers to protect to protect yeah okay no you're gonna go over there and kill people um, but of course nobody says it and what else Let's see. Um, congratulations to Fort Lauderdale, who they're proposing. Um, same, they passed the what's it called? They passed the resolution supporting same-sex marriage. So congratulations to you. I'm pretty shocked about it because 
it's Florida and there's a lot of people against same-sex marriages and um, so I thought it was gonna take like a few more years but hey Fort Lauderdale I'm just waiting for Miami and Miami will be perfect you know um, there's a big uh, gay community in Miami and I'm uh, um, and I'm just all for it really it's like who are you to tell someone who they should marry or not you know so love is love at the end of the day and let them be you know so congrats to Fort Lauderdale let's see what else do I want to talk about um, I saw I've been I saw Orange is the New Black it's a new series on Netflix if you're on Netflix check it out it's the funniest series ever and I didn't read the books because that's how it started it, it it came from books I never read the books but the series is phenomenal it's really good Dumb and Dumber 2 is coming out with Jim Carrey and the other guy I'm sorry I forgot his name um, but it's the same two people and it's coming out soon and I can't wait for that be simply because Jim Carrey is my favorite favorite actor of all time and did you guys watch the commencement speech um, he went to this university and he spoke and I think it was the best commencement ever and it really inspired me and motivated me um, to finish my education so I mean life is life everybody goes through failures and obstacles but you know that is the point of life failing so that you can be successful one day so that's about it tell me what you think uh, any suggestions of new topics that you want me to talk about if you have any questions let me know I'm gonna do a Q&A real soon and um, yeah that's what's been going on and uh, have a great week guys thank you for new subscribers subscribe if you haven't uh, link is somewhere <laughs> and and uh, yeah peace guys have a great week